Hi there, I just want to give you a quick update on a feature that I've been working on recently, which is a big one for Venger. Um, it's right here, issue 215. It's been open since November last year, and it is all about third-party authentication support. So that's things like social login with Google, Facebook, GitHub, or whatever, um, support for JSON Web Token, Auth0, single sign-on, all that kind of stuff. So it's a big issue, it's had a lot of discussion over the months and just this week I finally got down to actually thinking hard about how this is going to be implemented. So I've put together a detailed um, proof of concept design spec kind of thing in one of these recent comments and um, I've been working on that on the uh, over the past few days. and. I've got it to the stage where all the end-to-end -end tests are passing now, so it kind of works in the same way as it currently works, but now there's a new architecture which allows, to, allows us to expand things and support other kinds of auth providers. And I want to show you a demo I've just put together today. Um, let's make this big. Okay. So I've got a, a new plugin here that I've put together. This is uh, in the dev server um, and it's called the Google Auth plugin. And essentially all this plugin does is that it amends the, the configuration. Uh, there's new options uh, where you can define authentication strategies. And the shop API and the admin API can have one or more of these strategies which allow a user to authenticate in different ways depending on how these strategies are defined. So we've got a Google authentication strategy here. If we jump into that we'll see we're using this OAuth2 client and that just is something you can npm install from Google and it allows you to interact with their ID providers. Um, and essentially an authentication strategy um, wants you to define an authenticate method. And this method contains all the specific logic which is used by that provider to um, find out the details of this current user who's trying to authenticate. So in the case of this Google client, it has a verify ID token method. And um, when that returns, it gives me an object which gives me information like the user's name and their email address and then a, spe a Google specific ID. And I can use this information to check is this person already a customer? If not, I can create a new customer and use a record for this person. And this is what's happening in the logic right here. So you can see this, this strategy is like, it's just shy of a hundred lines long. Eventually, I think this will be quite significant, significantly cut down. Um, I can remove some of this common stuff into uh, some kind of helper methods and so on. And the other thing that this uh, plugin's doing is just using starting up an express static server so it can serve this index html file right here and this index file is kind of just demonstrating uh, the the storefront aspect so this is like where the customer would come and interact with your shop and they'd come to the signing page so i've just implemented like a very very bare bones um, google sign-in flow just in this static page here with a little bit of um, fetch and a little bit of JavaScript and some bootstrap. Okay, so let's jump over to see how this looks. Okay, so we're working with a, a, a brand new kind of install of Venger, newly populated with all, all the test data you're probably familiar, familiar with and those 10 customers that we populate by default. Okay, and here is this demo page, this static HTML file. So right now, I can go over to the network tab. I'll make that a bit bigger, maybe. Does it want to go bigger? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go on to this Google sign-in now. No, brave, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to choose my account. Okay, my secret password. And now it does its thing that it does. And now you see it says signed in. And right here we've got the result of the active customer query from Venger. And it's got my details here. And okay, it looks like it worked. Let's just go over back into the admin area 
and we'll refresh here. And right now we've got a new user in verified. It's me and yeah, I just logged in with Google. So uh, it's pretty exciting and um, there's more work to do. Um, but in the next minor release, there will be support for third party authentication. Okay, so I look forward to releasing this and uh, you can all play with it soon. Okay, see you later.